hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is Hua. if you've been here before welcome back in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how we slay this face yes slay this face my and if you've been here before and you still have not subscribed to my youtube channel i don't know what you're waiting for hit that subscribe button and click the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my upload so now let me show you how i transform this face from looking like this to this guys without further delay let's dive into the video okay now to start before i go in with any product i always ensure that i prime the face today i'm using this mac prep and prime lotion this has got spf 50 and because this has been really hot lately so we're using this primer now to do the brows i'm taking the benefit precisely my brow in color number 4.5 the reason why i'm using color number 4.5 is because of the hair color it's really light so we don't want the brows to be too dark okay that's the key point and i'm just feeling that brow so lightly very very lightly and also to clean the brows or to kind of define the brows i'm using the mac studio fix concealer in nc45 for the bottom and for the top i'm going to be taking nc48 in the same concealer because that it nc48 is closer to her skin tone as you can see on the screen you can't really not tell that there is a concealer on top of her brow so that's basically the look we are going for okay now doing the eyeshadow i have already gone ahead and primed the eyelid like I always say, you have to prime the lid just before you apply the colors. Doing this will allow that color payoff. Guys, you need to do this. Get your eye, um, eyeshadow primer. It makes a whole lot of difference. Okay, I've, I've gone too much now. So the palette I'm using today is by Urban Decay. And all most of the colors are going to be coming from this palette. And we are going for this purple i think it's a very light subtle purple kind of look so we're not very sure but we're just going and, and going with the flow guys literally going with the flow so i'm just blending that color into her crease line and making sure i'm defining that um crease and also deepening the um, outer v so now i'm taking a, a lighter shade from the um, smash box palette if you notice guys i did not do any cut crease first our eyelid are quite big and secondly there was no need for a cut crease i could literally see where her cut crease would be i'm not saying you don't have to you could have but i didn't want to so what i did was use the the shimmer shade that i'm applying to the the lid I'm using the brush as well the brush I'm using is actually by Morphe it's a very flat brush I'm using that to kind of cut that crease and make sure that it's well defined now I am going in with a pigment by Mac it's a Mac pigment initially I was using a brush and I thought oh it's not I have not seen the color as much when it with my finger it still didn't work so I decided to just continue with the brush and voila it was beautiful guys yes you can see that just looks amazing is a pigment i'll leave all the information of the product i'll be using in the description bar i just thought i'd bring her closer so you guys can really see what i'm seeing this is beautiful guys just look at this i'm not doing any cut i did not do any cut crease i'm literally just using that pigment to kind of define the crease it's beautiful i love the color turnout this is amazing now to line our eyes i am using my all-time favorite gel liner which is the inglot gel liner in color number 77 we are going to be extending that wing line. Oh 
Okay, for foundation today, I am using the NARS Natural Radiant Foundation in color Macau. Yes, that's the one I'm using. And as you can see, that really, really blend with her skin tone as well. Just like me. <laughs> and we just chilling, kicking it. Guys, can you just see the eyes? Oh my gosh, I love eye makeup looks. My, it just looks so beautiful. I'm going in with um, the Bobbi Brown foundation stick i think this is espresso just to do the contour and gives i'm kind of giving that shadow so and then to blend in i'm going in with the brush i don't remember where this brush is from but if i do i'll leave the name in the description bar <laughs> so i'm using that i'm just blending it in as you can see can you just see that it blends really well i love to use this kind of dense brush for my um contour it just makes the blending so easy i've gone ahead and apply a concealer i used actually i used the elf concealer exactly the one i use on myself because we kind of similar skin tone i don't know if you've noticed we have exactly the same skin tone we use the same product from nas she's exactly the same shade as myself so i've used exactly the same thing that i use on myself for her and now look at them lashes guys look at these lashes let's hold on hold on let's pause and just appreciate these lashes finish appreciating the lashes now to set the foundation to set the concealer i'm using the mac translucent powder i go in with this first before using my Laura Mercier translucent powder reason why I do this is because with this I do not have flashbacks and also the eye does not crease the concealer stay put like stays there it stays there until you are ready to wash it off okay guys if you do this trick hopefully it will work for you as well so that's basically what I'm doing I'm just doing all that and now what I'm going to do to set the rest of her face, I'm using this new palette. I got from Nip and Feb. I think that's what they're called. I don't know. But I got this new palette from Super Drugs. I'm just using a shade, one of the light powder there to set the rest of her face. But however, I wasn't feeling it. Mm, I wasn't sure it was doing that job. So I went back in with my all time favorite. Nas and to dust off the SS product I'm just going to use the highlight shade in that palette and just dust out the baking we are done baking now can you just look at these lashes again oh my gosh anyway enough of the lashes to contour i am using or to set the contour actually i am using the mary Kay highlight and contour palette you probably would have seen me using this before yes that's how we look i'm just going to apply that around the areas where we've contour just to deepen that contour a little bit and i've been chilling watching the ocean with you Baby up with a slow motion crew And we up in the growlings when people change but not us And we just chillin So for blush, I am taking my NARS palette Blush, blush, I can't even say I'm so excited I'm using the NARS blush palette And those two colors that I showed you guys earlier on I'm just applying that to the um, cheekbone I kind of told her to smile a little bit So that you can just kind of see the cheekbone and just apply that color lightly very lightly it's there you can't see now for highlight i'm taking my mac golden dimension i believe it's called if that's not what it's called i'll leave the names in the description bar and i spray the brush with the setting spray just to give that definition or to give you that shine however i wasn't pleased with the look so i went in with my mary Kay contour palette with the highlight shade 
can you just see that the highlight it's popping <laughs> excuse me the highlight is new like popping and i'm just applying that a little bit to the forehead so that when we take some pictures it will pop now to set her face i'm using the all nighter by urban decay setting spray i'm kind of just drowning her in that setting spray you can see it's really there were a lot i sprayed too much actually you don't need to spray that much guys it was just too much now to finish the look i'm just adding some finishing touch to the look and going back with the bobby brown eyeshadow just to apply that on top of the shade on top of the shimmer shade basically the reason why i'm doing this is whenever you take pictures with this it pops i got this trick from one of the makeup artists that i follow now to line her lips i am going in with my mac chestnut lip liner i'm just going to line or overline the lip the top lip a little bit just a little bit actually we went in i went in with a color um i lined the lip and i went in with the lipstick from nas lipstick palette and i was not pleased with the lipstick so this is the look i didn't like the lip color so we have to change it i left it in just for you guys if you do like this color let me know in the description bar but i wasn't feeling this color so this was not the color we went for i had to completely wipe this out and apply a different shade a kind of a nude um lipstick so guys if you do like this let me know and although if you also don't like this color also let me know as well so i'm going to be changing the lip color because i was not pleased with it just didn't go with the look i feel i didn't i wasn't feeling it so now what i'm doing i'm going in with um a natural nude kind of lipstick i'm just applying that on top i kind of wiped the first one off a little bit and i'm just outlining that and applying that on top i felt like this color works better with the look what do you guys think let me know <laughs> if you like this better also let me know in the comment section okay because we are not going for a matte look today i decided to add a lip gloss by bobby brown so i'm using that lip gloss uh, lip gloss i'm using the lip gloss in the middle of her lip i'm just applying that to give it that extra shine guys have a look this looks so beautiful just a quick reminder of the before and after look so you can see the transformation it's real it is real guys so now we're moving on to, to apply the wig before we do that I just thought let's give you a quick turn so you can see she's feeling it I am feeling it we are feeling this makeup if you are feeling this makeup and you watched it this point you still have not subscribed to my youtube channel I'm not sure what you're waiting for hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my upload now to apply the wig i am going to be removing the scarf first of all her hair was not kenwood we can only do this because the wig was made with a sewing machine it is flat guys if you want to know more about sewing machine wig hit me up in the comment section i will be telling you guys this wig was flat have a look at that all the information about this wig will be down in the description bar so if you are enjoying this if you like this wig don't forget to let me know as well it's actually one of my wig it's from Ua's hair so if you guys like it I custom color this wig and it looks amazing this is the reason why I did not make her eyebrow too dark so you can see it just complement the wig and complement our skin tone guys if you love this look to this time to this point don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and and if you have still not subscribed to my youtube channel i don't know what you're waiting for hit that subscribe button 
and click the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my upload i upload new videos every week and see you in my next one and thank you all for watching bye See, I want you to know that I'm from a beautiful country where we call Niger. Everything we want, we got.